Hey guys, Wilder D here. We're back from more Jewel Master. We're still stuck in this damn cave, so let's try to get through it. Okay, let's see. All right, gotta actually click on the damn thing. Okay, there we go. So right now we we got the high jump and wave going. Mike, of course we got this part of noise. Oh god, almost did make it. And now we gotta kill this. Oh shit. But yeah, basically I had to destroy that pillar and since I grabbed it so damn quick and it just happened to fall in like 50 enemies. God fucking damn it. There you go. Uh, basically I, what I grabbed was another spirit as you can see. I got five bars of life now. Alright, so next part coming up is going to be another boss fight. It's going to be a rather tricky one, but it's... Not too tough. I can show you the cheap way of beating it. It's a very cheap way. Alright, so you want to get your ass up here. You can get your ass up here. Come on, damn it. Ow. That sucks. You can sit over here. Fuck you, damn it. You can sit over here, and basically the only thing you'll have to worry about is this ice block. And you can nail him in the head over here, so... But I'm gonna do it the hard-ass way. Or, which is the normal way. Bastard. And you wanna watch out for that little... Little, uh, blast of ice that he shoots out. Fuck that, man. Fuck! Okay. Trust me, the normal way to beat this is... Definitely a little bit more interesting. But, it's... A little bit more frustrating too. Per personally, I prefer the harder way. Thank God I got hit by a damn icicle. Because if you get hit by a little blast of ice, oh, god damn, uh, you're bound to get fucked. But morally, oh, damn. okay, maybe I'm gonna bust out a safe state here. Fuck, definitely gonna bust out a safe state here. Damn. Yeah, I'm getting fucking... Oh, there you go. Of course, I have, like, no health. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Whew. I didn't want the stage to clear on me and not get the rain. That would've been shitty. And I'm starting off this stage with no health. That's... Um, that's pretty bad. Considering I'm gonna, you're gonna see what I'm gonna have to deal with the next few minutes. Well, since I won't need a high jump, I'm gonna rip these enemies apart over here. Yeah, basically you get, you guess what, since you're, the game thinks you're incredibly powerful here, the game will start throwing all these fucking enemies that you used to hate. And then plus some new ones, like the frickin' heads, you'll be starting to hate them really shortly. If you ever far and play this game. And of course they can't forget about the damn dragons. But the heads shooting out rocks are the worst enemies here. Reason being, um, their rocks, if you, they hit you with them, they're, you're gonna lose a whole bar of hell, which is ridiculous. Hey, what's up, what's up, mate? Come on, wave, you can do better than this. You can do better than this. Yes, you can. And, and you don't wanna lure, you wanna lure that guy knight into there, because you'll fall into it horrible crap of being stuck in that pit with them, and you're gonna get horribly killed. And then, now we fight a fucking mini-boss that's annoying as hell. May not so hard, but just annoying. Oh, fuck you. Because he's flying all over the place, and everything he hits you with is gonna hit you, most likely. Well, he does drop a very useful ring. It's the final air ring you need. And now we can fucking double jump, which is pretty damn awesome, to be honest. I mean, considering my options, I would love a lot of double jumping right now. And now we can use the freaking high jump to do shit now. Like, kill enemies. But double jumping is easily the best thing right now, because damn. Gives you a lot more control in the air. Fuck those heads shooting out rocks. And the control is all you need in this fucking game right now. Oh fuck you, knight. Okay, so you want to drop down here, or maybe not there, but over here. You can blow fly 
five pair of pterodactyls, and here you got the last spirit. Full health recovery, which is fucking awesome. Definitely need it at that point. <laughs> got fucking lava here, don't wanna fall in that- What the hell? What the hell did I hit there? Shit. Okay, say staying here just in case. That was some BS. Okay, so we got the double jump, we got the last spirit, fucking jumped into his damn head. Thankfully his head doesn't do as much damage as the frickin' rocks. And I'm taking the top route, because the bottom route is just, just retardedly dangerous. I mean, nine times out of ten you're gonna get hit by a rock or fall in the lava or get hit by a damn knife that just hates you. Or get hit by a fucking pterodactyl that just seems to be saying hello. God damn, what is up with these damn pterodactyls? Or whatever you want to fucking call them, they're damn annoyances to me, that's for sure. Yes, okay, and I just fell in love. Shit, shit, get the hell out of here. Yeah, you don't want to fall in that area, trust me. You do want to kill this rock guy over here. Alright, so we want to hop over here, you got a nice little life boost here. Kind of what I fucking need. Getting hit in the fucking face with a knight is definitely not what I need. Alright, so you after getting done with this part, you got a nasty boss coming up. And I think I'm going to do another save stage just in case. I don't like referring to him too much, but uh, this game gives me little choice usually. Oh, and here's the fucking boss. And there's the fucking phone. Hold on, guys. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Apparently, I forgot to stop recording the video, so I'm gonna take out about a minute's worth. Now I had to answer the phone. Okay, we're back for more of this. Okay, let's see now. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, let's unpause that BS. Alright, this guy can be a little bit tricky, clearly. The idea is you want to run under his ass, and every time he opens his mouth, you want to jump. When he rears back like that, you definitely want to jump a lot, because his fireballs can tear the living hell out of you. And right now, if I get hit by fucking anything, I'm going to die a little bit. But this is the best weapon, the wave. And I'm definitely not going to beat this final form, or the second form of his, with nothing left. Okay, there goes him. Drop the ring, drop the ring. Awesome. Now I'm going to show you something crazily cheap in this game, but absolutely necessary to beat this game. It's the best weapon in the game. I want to run over here and see what he did. Alright, you want to kill this thing? And basically that's it. That's the boss if you have the blade. Or if I use it. Since I beat it with the, out the, with the blade, I might as well do it the proper way now. And the proper way it can kick your ass. Uh, probably should, and I guess I can skip this part, so hold on, guys. Just hold on just a moment. Alright, guys, we're back for the second part of this fight, and this fight is fucking hard. No question. Alright, let's brace ourselves for hell and back. Alright, and we'll need to fucking double jump, of course. So you want to head over here so you don't get fucking nailed by damn fallen dragons. He'll uh, write himself up like this. This is how the battle goes. Fast moving enemy that takes up 90% of the fucking screen. And you have to use the double jump to damn survive this. Because he'll do that shit. Low swooping. Very hellish. Ish. God damn it. Fuck you. And of course running into you is very painful. Well, you definitely don't want to get hit by that guy if you get him, because you'll need all the life you need. And, but, if, once you figure out his movements, it's very possible to be his ass. Just like that. I don't know how I pulled that off, maybe I practiced from before and learned in his pattern saved my ass, but yeah, that's how that battle goes. And I can't believe it, we're on the final stage already. Uh, so I'll leave it to that. Technically, um... The last stage is also the longest, and easily the most annoying. Fucking crows! Gosh, man, is every game that has to be difficult have to have fucking bats and crows? Yeah, 
after a dog like or this. Okay, so next time guys, we're gonna try to get through this damn castle. So thanks for watching as always. Have a wonderful day. And uh, don't get killed by any fucking chaos dragons or retardedness. Alright, so adios.